Everybody, welcome back to Gerson's Garage. I thought today we'd get the tear plane out for the first time this year. Um, hasn't been started in a while, so I'm letting the fuel pump prime right now. And I'll give you a quick idea of how this, how to start one of these up. So now, in these cars, they don't have an automatic choke. Um, Hudson did offer an automatic choke on uh, as an option, but this car does not have it. So, it's manual choke. Make sure the car is in neutral on Hudson's. Because you have a wet clutch, we leave the clutch depressed when the car is in storage. So it doesn't, the, um, it doesn't stick. Okay, usually what I do, give it a pump, pull the choke out, key on. So, get your, um, your idiot lamps lit. I'm not bragging, but this car hasn't been started in... I think the last time I started it was November. So, but yeah, we're gonna get the terraplane out and um, take it for a spin. And if I can find a helper, you can come along. Have a great day. You ready? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. We're filming. All right. Go for a little ride. First one of the season. Definitely a different experience of driving a modern car. The transmission is not synchronized, so you gotta kind of feel the gears and anybody that's ever drove an old truck will understand what I'm talking about. Now before I mention double clutching, I'm going to show you what that is right now. Okay, I'm going to go down to second gear, so I start slowing down. I put the transmission into neutral. That didn't happen quite as I wanted it to, but normally I should have gone in. She didn't rev up as quick as I anticipated. We'll try that again down the road here. But you don't want the crunch. But for an almost 90 year old car, it drives down the road pretty nice. Turn the air conditioning on. <laughs> Okay, we're going to try the double clutch again. Right there. Nice and smooth. No crunch. Hudson, because of the 
my clutch had a very smooth action anyways. This car is hard to stall out actually. You can do it, but compared to like a regular dry clutch, it's a lot harder to do. Oh, got a turkey. Yellow road! <laughs> And all sorts of wildlife around here. Turkeys, deer, a lot of geese. It's one of the advantages of living in the country. Wouldn't trade it for any many. Now if you can see it with the temperature gauge is right in the middle range, it's about 160 degrees which is actually normal operating temperature for this car. One thing you notice, I don't downshift at first till I'm stopped. Unfortunately, the non-synchronization of the transmission was one of the issues with the electric hand. It's kind of tough to double clutch and do that at the same time. Because that transmission is going to engage into gear when you depress the clutch. That's how the system works. talked to old timers in the Hudson Club that would get these things up to close to 100. I can't imagine between you're on 616 tires, not really the greatest brakes in the world, and that motor must have been screaming. I don't know what this guy's doing. Thank you for riding along with us in the 36 airplane. Thank you to Mrs. Gruesome for being my camera person. And have a great day and God bless.